Joint 7 is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Joint 7 is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and a fully encompassed prepaid legal benefit that includes identity theft. They got your back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over 850 bucks a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, thedougstewartshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. I'm always saying get with the times. Stop acting like you at your mama house. Calling that girl you met at summer camp two states away, and your mama screaming out, I know you better not be talking long distance running up my bill with that little huzzy girl. Well, get with the times with the long distance charges. Presenting Univon. Univon offers unlimited worldwide calling to 60 plus countries for $14.99 a month. No contract, no activation fee, and no cancellation fee. Users can call anytime using their mobile phone or home IP phone. So stop flushing money down the drain. Get more details by clicking Univon's link banner on the DougStewartShow.com or the link on the DougStewartShow.com app. Try out Univon and call your peoples like you not at your mama house. Hour number two on the Doug Stewart Show. Thanks for joining you, folk. I really do appreciate you. Yes, continue to tell at least 230 people a day. About the livest, the most interactive, the most fun show in America. And the realest and the truest, too. Yes, yes, all right? And this is the Top 5 Tuesday. You can email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show uh, Or you can give us a call if you got something you want to talk about. Get off your chest. We do an open line. That's right. You call the show, you get on with me immediately. And, uh, you know, get your hot sports take out there. Let's talk about, you know, your name. Give us your name, where you're calling from, and what you want to get into real quick just spit it out spit it out yes 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 this segment is brought to you by advertisers unlimited and uh one of the newest most innovative marketing and it's really simple it's kind of old school but it's new school as well yes the little door hanger things you come home and you see them promoting papa john's or coca-cola or whatever or gatorade or you know whatever brand mcdonald's on your door hanging off that's what these guys do. They're the best or one of the best companies in America to do it. They can hit over 20,000 houses. That's right. So if you're a business out there and you like to try this new innovative way of marketing, uh, go to their website, goadvertiseunlimited.com. Use the promo code DSS and you'll get 10% off immediately. Make sure you tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. All right. All right. So we've been having a lot of fun today and we've been talking about the top five sports commercials of all times. And it really came in the conversation yesterday, kind of uh, spurred my my uh, creativity and my thinking about, you know, commercials, man. There have been a lot of great sports commercials, you know, that I've seen. And I, you know, did some research and found a ton of my And it was hard even narrowing it down to five. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show because there have been so many greats. And maybe what I'll do is I'll write down and jot down some of my – uh, honorable mentions uh, after we go through the top five. I've already gone through uh, five and four. Number five for me was the Be Like Mike Gatorade commercial. Number four was another Gatorade commercial featuring Michael Jordan, the young versus old Michael Jordan, which was real hype. <laughs> that was that was like big time technology when that thing came out. And I need to look back at the year when these commercials came by uh, came out as well. But so that's what we're doing today. We're talking about the top five sports commercials of all time. Now, you've probably seen it um, because I talked about it yesterday. Maybe you heard about it. But the, the commercial that spurned this conversation, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, was this commercial right here by Nike. We got to do it for them, dog. We got to do it for Cleveland. They're waiting on us. What we do tonight with the five. Every single night. 
every single practice, every single game, we got to give it all we got. Because they're going to ride with us. Everything that we do on this floor, because of this city, we owe them. We're going to grind for this city. They're going to support us, man, but we got to give it all back to them. We get it done. The toughness that we have on the court is going to come from this city. Everybody, the whole city of Cleveland, that's what it's all about. It's time to bring them something special. Let's go. Bring it on in, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Hard work on three. Together on six. One, two, three. Hard work. Four, five, six. Together. Hard work on three. Together on six. One, two, three. Hard work. Four, five, six. Together. Here we go, man. Hard work on three. Together on six. One, two, three. Hard work. Four, five, six. Together. 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 Right here. Let's get it. It's all us. Clean it on three. One, two, three. three. And man, if you see this commercial, if you see this commercial, man, it is just, it's emotional. <laughs> and really, this is one of those commercials. That really kind of, uh, you need to see it. It does it more justice if you actually see the commercial and what's going on in it and the fact that they're all coming in this circle and they're, you know, it's so emotional and they're talking about giving it back to Cleveland and now they went on to lose that night against the Knicks. (laughs) But that's neither here nor there. So that kind of spurred the conversation about the top sports commercials of all times on this Top 5 Tuesday. This is the Doug Stewart Show. And uh, yes, yes, it's a top five Tuesday. You can email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. You can also give us a call at four zero four three eight two zero three three eight. And I don't know if there's anybody. And I said this a little while earlier. I don't know if there's anybody um, in sports history that has made a complete one eighty like LeBron James. He's made like a one eighty twice because he was beloved at the very beginning, and that's something else. That people don't realize, and they were saying I was hating LeBron James all those years, is if you remember before the whole debacle of him going to Miami, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, I was a LeBron fan just like everybody else. I mean, why wouldn't you be? One of the first players to actually have like this super hype behind him and lived up to the hype. I mean, this kid was 18 years old, 19 years old, dominating games as a rookie in the NBA. But it all went sour for me when he went south, just like a lot of other basketball fans and people that follow sports in America. So we love him on one hand when he was in Cleveland and trying to strive to win a championship. But then he goes to Miami and he does all of that thing. And he has this, 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 the, the decision. And, uh, you know, they kind of like take the, the, the bad guy persona down there. They kind of like really embrace that because everybody is against them. It's us against the world. And then it's come full circle. And he goes back to Cleveland. And now everybody, uh, like myself, or most people like myself, are okay. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. And you you have the ability to change your feelings on certain situations, especially in sports, because it's fluid. And the way this guy did this thing, and the, the, the essay that he wrote, the essay that I don't think he actually wrote it, but whoever his secretary that wrote it, he probably gave him some thoughts or gave the person that wrote it some thoughts on what he wanted to say and what he wanted to express. But going back to Cleveland and writing that essay and getting everything out on the table. And also another brilliant thing was the fact that they had it written out and they did this essay. They didn't do a live interview where he could stumble upon his words. He was very clear and very exact in what he wanted to say. Didn't miss anything. Because sometimes when, you, when you're doing something and you're doing an interview, uh, there's part of what you want to say that as soon as the interview is over, you're like, damn it, I meant to say this. And I meant to thank this person. And I meant to thank that person. No. They had time. They had nights, days, weeks uh, to sit down and write this thing out exactly the way that they wanted to do it and have exactly expressed what they wanted to express. And uh, I'm rooting for the young man. And I don't know. Uh, clearly, my Lakers aren't going to win a championship this year. Uh, we might break a damn record for losses. So I think it would be very cool. I think it would be very cool to see LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers and that city, man, 
<laughs> I've just been through so much. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. My wife's from Lorraine, Ohio, okay, which is right outside of Cleveland. They probably, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes from uh, downtown Cleveland, maybe even less than that. And so I've been up there a couple of times, and obviously it's just like any place. If you're from uh, West Cobb, uh, you visit the, the main city of Atlanta. I'm from Monk's Corner, South Carolina. So we go to big city is to us, Charleston, South Carolina. So Lorraine people, they, they travel to Cleveland all the time. And not not just Cleveland, uh, but any of those cities that I've been to in the Midwest. I've been to Columbus, Ohio. I went to Ohio State taking on Miami a couple of years ago. Uh, obviously, my brother played for the Detroit Lions. So a lot of time in Detroit. Any of those Midwest cities, if you go to them, it just seems like, oh my gosh, it's like night and day from a nice, progressive, new city like Atlanta. I call Atlanta a new city. But you go to Cleveland or Detroit or Columbus, you know, it's these old, uh, you know, industrial towns. The buildings have been there forever. They manufacture goods. That's what they did, you know, 40, 50, 60 years ago. And that's what they, they, the, the city was built upon. And all those places, those factories are closed. And it's like ghost town and joblessness is high and it's just real, real, you know, gloomy. And that's another thing. The damn sun doesn't even come out in those cities in the Midwest, man. So it's real drab and, and nothing going on. And, and uh, so it's tough. And LeBron has meant an economic boom to the city of Cleveland since he's been back. It's been documented. And so I think it's a great story. It's a fantastic story. Uh, Juan Cruz says Lakers can't lose enough. Yes. Oh, he actually says yes. Uh, how dare you, sir? Uh, from Roderick Pinson, he says, going to take your four and five. Mean Joe Green, Coke commercial. Spike Lee is the shoes money. OJ running through the airport. Ah, Roderick, stay tuned. <laughs> My second and number one sports talk commercial or sports related commercial of all time uh, is coming up. All right, up next on the Doug Stewart Show, we'll talk a little bit about Monday Night Football. Uh, didn't get a chance to do that. And also, Talk a little bit about what's going on in uh, in Philadelphia. Yes, we'll talk a little bit about that as well. Don't go away. It's the Doug Stewart Show. So you think you're a fantasy whiz, huh? Well, prove it and make some nice scratch at the same time. Scratch is money. What do you know about FanDuel? FanDuel packs the thrill of a whole season in one week. Play in one-week fantasy football leagues for free money with immediate cash payouts. The money is real with no season-long commitment. That's huge because when your team starts to suck, you don't want to play no more. It's no more fun. Trade everybody. I've been there. You play when and how much you want. Deposit now and FanDuel will match it up to $200. Use the promo code COOLER. That's C-O-O-L-E-R and take advantage of free loot to get your game on. FanDuel, where every week is a new season. The Doug Stewart Show is off and running, but just like every company, we need sponsors. Would yours like to work with one of the livest, most dynamic, and recognized sports talk dudes in America? By the way, I'm talking about myself. Getting in on the ground floor... Well, call us at 770-847-0536 or email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com and let's do business. From the smallest company in Atlanta to the biggest brands nationally and worldwide, Shawty, people know me and the Stews brand in these streets. Holla at your boy. Once again, the number is 770-847-0536 or email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. What is 911 Tax Relief? It's a tax relief company that can help you reduce or remove your IRS or state tax debt. They'll help stop bank levies and wage garnishments by implementing offers in compromise or penalty abatements. 911 Tax Relief is a tax relief company, but they're different from the others. Their experts are licensed and enrolled tax agents, and they also have more than 12 years experience helping people solve their tax problems. They're a tax relief company that understands how the IRS works.